Buon pomeriggio and welcome to the channel Whatcha Cooking Good Looking. I'm Justin and today we are going to be traveling to Italy and we're going to go to Liguria, which is the region where Genova is. Genova is a lovely city on the Italian coast near Cinque Terre and it's famous for pesto. And so today we are going to make a homemade pesto sauce, which you'll see is super simple, super easy. And we will also be making our own pasta. We're going to start with the pasta because it needs to rest a bit, the dough, before we roll it out and cook it. And let's go ahead and walk over here and see what we've got set up. So we have all the ingredients we need to make a delicious pasta with um, pesto. So we've got some basil that I've grown myself. I just cut it today so it should be extra flavorful because it's extra fresh. We've got some flour here. I've got about Mm, I don't know, how much was it? <laughs> 200 grams? Uh, no, 300 grams. About 300 grams of flour, and we've got three eggs. You need about one egg per 100 grams of flour. For the sauce, we've got these pine nuts, olive oil, of course I said the basil, garlic, and some cheese. You can use pecorino, or you can also use parmigiano reggiano. Let's get started with the pasta. I'll set this over here and let's begin. It's very simple. Don't stress. If you've never made your own pasta, don't worry. It really is quite easy as you'll see in the video. Okay. And today we will be making farfalle, which is farfalla. You maybe know the, the name farfalle because it's plural and it means butterflies in Italian. In English, we often call it bow tie pasta because it does look like a bow tie, not a butterfly. Butterflies go like this, bow ties go like this. So, we're going to be making that pasta. It's quite easy. You don't need a, need a machine. I do have a machine, but I want to show you how you can make it without a machine. Because I understand a lot of people don't have pasta machines. They don't make pasta enough. It doesn't really warrant buying a machine if you make pasta by hand once a year. So, I'll teach you how to do that. So, let's dive into it. Okay, so... We have our 300 grams of flour and we're going to just dump it out here on our countertop. There we go. We're going to create a little well or volcano, whatever. Just make it a little bit larger than, than you think you need because often it requires more space than you anticipated. So. I'm going to make it just a little larger. There's actually many ways to make pasta. Everyone's way is slightly different and they would argue what's authentic and what's not. So I'm going to teach you one of many ways. They're all quite similar, but there's just slight differences. So I'm going to take my eggs, correct them, and drop them here in the volcano. And I'm going to slowly mix that around. Incorporate some of that flour. I think it's time for another egg. So, I've made the pasta dough and it's here. I put it in some plastic wrap and this keeps it from drying out, but it needs to sit for about 30 minutes to an hour to just kind of let the dough relax. So then we'll roll it out. But first let's make our sauce while that's resting. So, you can use a mortar and pestle if you have one. I don't, so I'm going to use this, 
which I use for all, sor all sorts of things and it's very uh, handy. So really, it's simple. You're going to take some garlic, right? Peel it first, of course. I've got four cloves here. You can add as much as you want and put as little as you want. Then you need some pine nuts. <clears throat> if you don't have pine nuts, you can use breadcrumbs as well. It works quite nice. So, now I'm going to put just a little bit of salt and I'm going to slowly add some of my basil. Very simple. You can add little parts of the stem, just don't add too much. The stem is the more fibrous part, which is uh, good for you. And there's plenty of flavor in it, but you don't want to have like pure stems. So try to pick up mostly the leaves. But don't sweat it if you, if you get a little bit of stem in there. Ah, it smells so nice. It's one of my favorites. Very healthy for you, very delicious. You can easily grow your own. They like lots of water and lots of sunlight. Uh, other than that, it's pretty simple. Depends on where you live here in Spain. I have some trouble with it. There are some pests that try to get into it and so I have to kind of spray them away, uh, especially things like white flies. But I know that last time I was in the States, I planted some for my mother. She didn't take care of it at all, it just kind of left it there, but it thrived. She had the most beautiful large leaves because it was so sunny and it rains a lot there in Tennessee. And she said it's come back this year and she didn't do anything with it. It came back on its own. Uh, I don't know how, but um, survived the winter, I guess. So it's quite easy to grow your own. And it grows so quickly, so quickly. I'm not kidding. In one month, you can chop your plants away and it'll be right back to where it was after a month. It'll, it'll grow leaps and bounds in such a short period of time. So... If you have a sunny area, I suggest you grow your own because it's just that simple. Ah, I love the smell. I'm going to go ahead and now blend what I've got here. I'm going to add some more in a second, but this will just create a little bit more space. to it. Mm. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay. So it's a little bit more long. Now I'm going to put in some olive oil. Here I have a delicious, very nice olive oil. One of the best in the world. And I've got another olive oil I'm going to use when this runs out, which it's about to. And then we'll add the cheese. Oh. Okay. So, have this new olive oil, we're gonna add it similar to the other one, so it won't make so much of a difference in the flavor. Alright, let's see if that's enough for now. I'm just going to grate in some cheese. You can put as much as you want, to be honest. 
Uh, I don't want to put too much because it would take away from the flavor of the basil. And what's good about a pesto is the delicious taste of the basil. So don't do that. Don't be too heavy handed. Uh, I worked at Olive Garden for three years. I've seen how much some people like cheese. They really will let you grate a whole block of cheese if you don't stop them on just a single pasta dish. Let's go ahead and blend this a bit. Gorgeous. Let's taste it. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Just a little bit more cheese. Top it off with just a little bit more olive oil. So, there you have it. A beautiful, delicious pesto that you can make very easily with very simple ingredients. And now let's just check on the dough, see how it is. So you want your dough to be a little bit, um, I don't know, bouncy, I guess, at first. It should bounce back once you've pressed your, your finger in it. But later, as it sits more, it will do that less, which is good. So let's see. About 30 minutes have passed. I'm going to clean up this area, and then I'm going to start working the dough. So let's put this away. And... We will cut the dough in a moment and, and make the pasta. Okay, so here we've got our dough. The only kind of dough I make because I'm poor. That's why you can hit us up on Patreon and support the channel. But anyhow, let's get to it. Let's roll out this dough. So we're going to open it. There we go. Voila, our dough. And we want to flour the surface a little bit. So like dusting. So you're going to want to roll out your pasta very thinly. So now that we've got the pasta all laid out, we are going to cut it into rectangles, okay? So first I'm going to start by doing one long cut, like this, here we go. Okay, so here we have our amazing pesto with our very ugly but delicious bow ties. So I'm not a professional at pasta shaping, but it tastes magnificent and it's quite easy to do. If you have smaller fingers, you know, yours will turn out a little bit better. So I'm just going to grab the pasta and plate it. Gosh. <laughs> A lot of love went into this. From growing the basil myself to picking out a good olive oil, making the pasta by hand, a lot of love, seriously. And it's gonna turn out so much better because of that. Way better than anything you can buy in the store. I highly suggest you try the recipe. I know it seems like a lot of work, 
but it's a great way to impress someone if you're going on a date or not really going because it would be at home obviously but if you want to impress someone you want to make a nice dish something simple but delicious it, this is it so I would suggest making it you can serve it by just adding a little dollop of olive oil on top it gives it a nice sheen and if you want just a, a little dusting of cheese on top. And if you saved any fresh basil leaves, which I didn't, you could just put it there as a garnish as well, if you want, or a few pine nuts. So, there you have it. I'm going to eat it now because, oh my gosh, it looks so delicious. I tried one and I'm about to eat all of this in 30 seconds and not in 30 seconds as in when the video ends 30 seconds is the time it will take me to eat this dish. I'll try to pace myself because it's that good and I want to savor every moment but oof. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please subscribe, hit the like button and comment down below if you have any questions. And I hope to see you again here at What You Cooking Good Looking, okay? Ciao, adios, bye, thanks.